How to create a simple read more text button so that you can expand a text and that you also can shrink a text again. We will also look at a second variant where you have the read more and read less buttons in line next to the text. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with a simple text widget which displays here a random text inside which is pretty long. And I also have created already here this read more button which is basically here this elevated button. And both of it, the text and also the button are then here displayed inside of a list view. So we have here the text inside and under it we have then here our button. And now if we click here on this button, then we want to shrink here our text or we want to expand it. And therefore we simply go here to this build button method and to this on press handler. And here inside we simply want to toggle then a boolean field is read more. And depending on this is read more flag, we also want to change here then the text of our button. So we want to change it between read less and read more. And lastly, we want to create then this is read more flag inside of our state and initially we set it to false. And with this, we can already click here on this button to toggle here every time our text. And now we want to use here this flag to also change here then our text. Therefore, let's go here to our text widget. And here inside of this text widget, you have the max lines property, which we want to set right now to five lines. And with this, you see that only five lines are here displayed of our text and the remaining text is simply cut it away. And now dependable on our is read more flag, we want to show here then the whole text or simply five lines. So let's try it out. I click on this read more button and then it simply displays here all of the text and we also can click on read less to show here less of the text. If you like, you can also display here at the end of our text some dots so that we indicate there is some more text. And therefore you go to here inside of your text widget where you have the overflow property. And here you can then basically set the overflow to ellipses. And with this, we have here some dots in case the text is clipped away. Right now, the only problem is if I click here on read more, then it displays here only one line instead of the whole text. And this is because this is not working together with this ellipsis. So instead, if we are here in the is read more state, then we want to set the text overflow to visible. And now if I hot reload, you see that the text is expanding to the whole size and we can click on read less and read more and everything works correctly. Next, we want to use the read more package to display our read more and read less buttons in line next to our text. Therefore, let's replace here our current text widget that we display with this read more text widget, which comes from this package. And now if I hot reload, you see we have here this inline button, which we can expand and also shrink. And if you like, you can also change here the text of this button. Therefore, you can set here these texts, the read more and also the read less text so that it looks here now different. By default, if you have shrinked here your text, then it displays here 240 characters and you can also change it. So for example, you can change here the trim mode to line. So you want to display always in the shrink mode three lines. And now if I hot reload, you see we have here exactly three lines and you can simply customize here then this value in case you want to change how many lines you want to display inside of the shrink mode. Alternatively, you can also set here the trim mode to length. And I set it here to 50 characters. So right now inside of the shrink mode, we display here 50 characters and you can also change it. So you can, for example, put here any length inside that you want to display. If you like, you can also change the style of this read more button and this read less button. And therefore you have here these properties of less and more style. And I simply set both of them right now to the same text style with a color of pink and a bold text. And now if I hot reload, you see our button here changed and also this read more button did also change its style. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.